This is how Americans travel, and this is how they do it in Japan. Today we're traveling on the famous Shinkansen train from Tokyo to Kyoto. We'll explore why this train is super efficient, and at the end of the video we will tell you the one reason why we will never have bullet trains like this in the United States. We just made it to Tokyo Station, today we're going to Kyoto, but first we need to print our tickets for the fast train. So I think we found the machine. Need to find Tokyo Central Station is massive, so for new Tokyo visitors like ourselves, finding the right spot to print our Shinkansen tickets proved to be a little bit challenging. Struggle is good. Ah. This is just food. Yes, but tickets first. Food. Tickets. <laughs> Shinkansen. Oh. But let me see if I can find out Shinkansen trains. All the restaurants. Oh, here we are. Okay, so this is the way to go. So we need to get F1. Aren't we at F1? Okay, let's follow Shinkansen. We've got a plan. And again, I'm sweating profusely. Shinkansen. Yeah. This is madness. So many people. I don't know where. No idea where we're going. At this point, it seemed like we were about to succeed. Unfortunately, we were wrong. Welcome. Please select a ticket time. Check the pickup code or reservation number. Enter it again and press confirm. I think we need to. I believe that after a couple of rides on this train, you'll easily figure out which machine to use for printing tickets. In our case, our second try was a success. Good job, ticket check. Now we have to, yeah, okay. Yeah. Nozomi 21, that's what we have. Car 16, seat 2, C 2, B. Better be first class. No, it's not. So when you're looking for your tickets and we, we bought them two days ago, we just need to pick them up and print them. We received we reserved our seats. Trick is to get as close as your Shinkansen station as possible because the right ATM will be probably there. You will get a QR code and you're good to go. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Chica Chica. We cooperated. <laughs> what would you like? Oh, this one with cheese. Mm -hmm. Two cafe lattes, small one. Oh, ice. Ice. You want to share that one? Our objective for today is to get to Tokyo. Kyoto. One more time. It's the other one. I know. Tokyo. 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 Our objective for today is to get to Kyoto. Nice. My objective today is to get coffee. We picked up our tickets. And we have about an hour before train train leaves. We're already in Tokyo Station, so we can chill for a little bit to get some snacks and drink and water. We will be on the train for two hours, a little over two hours, so we don't want to be starving. We're good to go. Yay! You didn't like these, huh? No, but I do want for you. We can take one of these too. Looks healthy. Mm -hmm. You want those rice cakes? Yeah, I'm gonna get one of those. Thank you. 
ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。I want to see what they have here. Okay. These what boxes? Bento boxes. You, you can get lunch. Well, I have something similar, but it looks very pretty. So I think 21 might be the track. I don't know. 21. Initially, we had difficulty locating the ticket printing machine. Once that was sorted out, our next challenge was finding the correct train platform, which turned out to be more complicated than we anticipated. Inside, next touch. Oh, okay. Fast inside. Touch. So you need Suica card for this. Yeah. I had no idea. Eighteen. So it doesn't matter if you have the Shinkansen tickets, you also need the Suica card to be able to go through. And we just discovered that. Get to the station at least 30 minutes early because it's not that easy to figure it out. But we did it. It seems that we're on the right track. You did it, Chica Chica. You found the right spot. Well done. I'm proud of you. I am. Without you, I would be like probably still in Phoenix. <laughs> That's not true. Now we still have half an hour waiting for our train and we're on our way to Kyoto. Kyoto. Thank you, Kyoto. We made it to our train. It's fast, but not super fast yet. Flashback to October 1st, 1964. The Shinkansen starts its journey with a 320.3 mile route. Fast forward to today, it spans an impressive 1,758.9 miles. The Shinkansen speed is about 200 miles per hour. 
getting you from Tokyo to Kyoto in just 130 minutes. That is way faster than the six hours it would take you driving a car. These trains are fast, and even though their normal high speeds are around 200 miles per hour, in April 2015, they broke a record at 375 miles per hour. So when you're riding on them at 200 miles per hour, they're actually holding back. Twice as fast as a car. But is it faster than a Formula One car? That's the question. Oh, for sure. 320 kilometers per hour. So this train goes up to 200 miles per hour. And how fast is a Formula One car? That's my question. I ask important questions. So we're pretty much Formula One drivers. Go down the escape road, but yeah. he's done it again. The Shinkansen is a people mover, with a capacity to transport 353 million passengers a year, second only to China's high-speed railway. Japan dreamt of high-speed trains since the 1930s. Post-World War II, with booming industry and packed trains, they kick-started the bullet train project in April 1959. In over 16 years carrying more than 10 billion passengers, the Shinkansen safety record is nearly spotless. No accidents causing passenger fatalities, though there's been one tragic incident in 1995 at Mishima Station. Is the Shinkansen eco-friendly? Absolutely! Traveling from Tokyo to Osaka on the Shinkansen emits just 16% of the CO2 compared to a car journey. That's a yearly savings of 15 tons of CO2. It also emits 12 times less CO2 than airplanes. The Shinkansen's influence goes global, with its technology used in Taiwan, China, the UK, and soon India, and maybe the United States. But more about that at the end of this video. One, two, one. two please. <laughs> We made it to Kyoto, now to the hotel. Yes. Get on the day. <laughs> oh, 
after a quick break during our bullet train experience now we have to hustle and find a train to go to our hotel which subway again here in Kyoto so we'll see how that goes I'm sure it'll go well no no you can just go you can just go Oh, my ticket. You just. Uh, thank you. We need platform two. We are here, and we will go two stops. Sounds like a plan. Any for your thoughts? No thoughts. Yen for your thoughts. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Is the US adopting Shinkansen style high speed rail? Kind of. Plans do exist for high speed rail networks in parts of the United States. However, the likelihood of these networks becoming as popular as they are in Japan is very slim. Good. <laughs> two trains or 40 minutes walk? Two trains. For sure. AC all the time. Especially with luggage. Otherwise, I would walk, I would be happy to walk through Kyoto. The main obstacle is the car centric nature of most American cities. Even if high speed trains could significantly reduce travel time between cities like Las Vegas and Los Angeles, the dependence on cars or ride sharing services at the destination could discourage potential users. Nonetheless, the prospect of such high-speed rail development is exciting and we will definitely try it if it actually happens. It's a beautiful view of Hawaii. Oh. It's medium size. Medium? Yes. Whoa. Okay. We made it. That was not that bad. We made it to our hotel. That's it for today. We'll see you next time. Lots of more videos from Japan coming. Bye, everybody. Bye.